So I wanted to try to get a shot of these plecos before before I plant this tank. This is a super red calico bristlenose pleco. This one is about oh, he's about three inches, maybe a little longer, and he's ready to go. And I had a super red female that was not a calico that I was going to breed with him, but she passed away about a week ago. And then my local fish store still had some left from that batch. And I got this little calico that, you know, I'm not positive is a female yet. She is only about uh, maybe two inches. So I'm hoping to get a female. Not the best shot of them because the cord is in the way. It's about as good as it gets. She's quite a bit smaller than this guy. But he is just fantastic. I know it's a little cloudy. This tank's new. It's just newly been set up. Uh, it's been running for about two weeks with nothing in it. And then I put these guys in there a couple days ago. Uh, it's a 29 gallon. Just got a couple of cheap plastic cups in there for caves. I will be changing those out before it's over with. And the two bristlenose plecos are the only guys that are in there right now. Uh, now when I put plants in there, it's going to be hard to get a shot of them. So I wanted to get something on video. And what's going to happen is all this Ludwigia, my 40 breeder, you can see it how much of it there is here, if I can get it out of the reflection. You can see how much of it there is here. And we got some hair algae there that I'm gonna to have to take care of while I'm at it. And then there's the uh, red tiger lotus going to the top. And uh, I've got some uh, hygrophila corymbosa, the giant hygro that I got at a local fish store and it's just it's too big for this tank. It keeps coming out of the top real fast, and uh, but it does look nice. So I keep trimming it back. We're going to do some of that too. Uh, this tank needs to be addressed because you can see that it's the Ludwigia is just taking over. It does that, and I love this plant because of that. <clears throat> I mean, I I'm going to cut this back, and then in two weeks, you know, depending on how far back you cut it. You know, in two weeks, it'll look like this again. Th three, four at the max, it will look like this again. I mean, this tank's been running like about two months and I have had to trim it multiple times already. I started out, it was just like, you know, down around this area in the back and just took off. It's already been doubled twice. Anyway, that Ludwig is gonna go in here, trimmings, and it's going to be the beginning of my breeding for profit tank, which is what this is going to be. I'm going to grow Ludwigia in there. I am going to propagate these, at least one of these Marimo moss balls into smaller pieces and put it out there and let it start growing out. I've also got Ludwigia in this little 10 gallon that's in there and some floating crypts that have been in there forever that may not even bounce back. Uh, and that's all going to go in there. I'm eventually going to get some moss going in there. And then the plan is to breed these calico super red bristlenose plecos in here. And then eventually breed shrimp in here as well. I haven't decided on the species yet. And uh, then I'm either going to just go with the whole formula that Steam Fought Aquatics and Aquarium Co-op talks about and do guppies or something in here, or I'm going to use it to grow out fry from my Bosmani rainbows when I finally get the males and get them grown out. Everything I've got is really juvenile, so it's going to take me a while. And this is going to be a, a ongoing journey on YouTube of my aquariums and my... Uh, fish hobby and what I've learned and you know I'm going to try to document 
uh, things as I go, problems that I run into and how I end up solving them and stuff like that. So this is the very beginning. I'm probably going to do a video as I trim this and replant over here. Um, but that'll be coming up if I do because it needs to get done pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.